Hey everyone, what's going on? Snowy Mantar here, and in today's video, I wanted to make a video talking about Fortnite cosmetics that are getting rare that people probably don't know about. This video is actually inspired by a fellow YouTuber who I absolutely love watching his videos, and his name is Ashtiff. I hope I said your name correctly. I'm very sorry if I don't. His name's on screen. Uh, and I really hope you all check him out because he makes really great content on his channel, great variety channel. I really wanted to do this video more or less due to the fact that there are a lot of Fortnite cosmetics that are getting rare that people aren't necessarily talking about, which is, this is an interesting topic I wanted to make. But anyways, without further ado, let's hop right into the video. But also, one huge disclaimer about this video is that any of these cosmetics which I'm going to be mentioning in this video could come back at any time. So, there you go. So let's begin the video with Metal Team Leader. This is actually probably one of the most controversial skins inside of Fortnite, more or less due to the fact that this was a Save the World starter pack skin. And then they sold it in the item shop, which caused a lot of the other starter packs from Save the World to not sell well. Yeah, this skin has actually not been seen in over 300 days, and fun fact, it was only in the shop three times. And honestly, I think it should stay that way, because this skin is not that great. I mean, for... for a cuddle team leader skin it's not bad but more or less it's just not a skin which is worth it especially if you paid twenty dollars for this pack and then you get no compensation whatsoever for them just putting it in the item shop and honestly i don't see this coming back anytime soon especially because of all the backlash that it got now let's move on from there to an emote and this is actually going to go to survivor salt now the reason why i'm mentioning this here is because who actually bought this emote? As this emote was actually last seen 165 days ago, as it's not really a rare emote per se. It's just one that I don't see anybody buying, more or less due to the fact that this is an Icon Series emote that's 200 V-Bucks, and is just doesn't even feel like an Icon Series emote whatsoever, and honestly I don't even think it deserves to be an Icon Series emote at all. This could have easily have been like a battle pass emote or some form like that, but this is not a good emote at all, and honestly, I don't think it's gonna come back for a good while, so if you have it, keep that on your mind. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to really say about this emote. It's not good, but it hasn't been seen in a decent bit, so there's that. Now, let's move on from there to a locker bundle, because all these items, by the way, in this locker bundle have not been seen on the exact same day since the locker bundle, so I'm just gonna mention it here. Squatting Dogs Lager Bundle. This entire bundle has Mullet Marauder, the Slick Emote, the Pink Flamingo Harvesting Tool, and the Hot Ride Glider, all last seen 335 days ago. I'm actually quite surprised about this because some of these cosmetics in this entire bundle were some items, like the Hot Ride Glider and also the Slick Emote were ones I see a lot of people asking for, and I'm shocked that they haven't come back to the shop since this locker bundle, especially Slick. Like, man, Slick was actually a rare emote before this locker bundle came out, and then now it's starting to become rare again after the locker bundle, which is really interesting. So if you have anything from this locker bundle, I would consider them rare now. But speaking of a bundle, because I wanted to talk about this here, because I don't think anybody's talking about this bundle. This is actually the Knights of the Food Court. This entire bundle has not been seen in 270 days, and honestly, I think this is one of the most underrated bundles inside of Fortnite. It's just a really wacky, meme -y bundle. It's obviously just food characters from Fortnite, just in knights. This is knight costumes per se, I guess is how I'm trying to say it. They have really good harvesting tools. There are only two harvesting tools that I actually find really good in here. They, all, they also come with a loading screen. The skins are actually quite unique for reskins. I won't lie, these are some of the most unique reskins we've ever gotten in Fortnite. And honestly, I think the reason why this bundle hasn't come back in a good while is more or less due to sales. I think this sold horribly, as I barely saw this ever. So I think that's probably why it's starting to get rare, and I would honestly argue by saying that this could be rare. But let's move on from there to another meme skin I wanted to mention on here, as this is actually starting to become rare again, as this was a very rare skin back in 2020, that is Yeehaw. Did you guys know it's actually been 340 days since it was last seen in the item shop, or over 340 days? Kind of understandable, because this is not worth 1500 V-Bucks whatsoever. This skin doesn't even come with a back bling, it has a built-in emote, and no edit styles. Pay up your 1500 V-Bucks. This is one of the worst skins in the item shop because it is not worth your time or money. I bought it solely for the fact that I collect headhunter skins and I wouldn't even recommend this to headhunter collectors like at all. This is not, uh, excuse me, that is not a good skin at all. For a meme skin, there's so many better options out there. 
really are. And honestly, I don't see this game coming back anytime soon. I generally don't. But let's move on from there to an emote. And this is actually Zombie Shambles. This is an emote that was supposed to come out in 2020 for Halloween. And it came out in November for one day. And it never came back. Or in this case, it was last seen over 740 days ago. Or 470 days ago. I am so stupid. <laughs> I am so sorry for the for the freaking confusion there. But this emote did not come back at all ever since it actually released. And there was only 24 hours for you to actually get this emote. And since we had Lavish return recently, I would honestly argue by saying that this is one of the rarest emotes in the game. Yeah, people are going to get mad at me about, about me saying that. But there's an argument about that, and that is because it was only out once. 24 hours. That was it. There really wasn't a ton of chances for you to get this. There was only one chance for you to get it. And honestly, I'd say this emote is better than Zom than the Zomified emote that we got that we get for Halloween. And honestly, I'd see this coming back this year for Halloween. Another Halloween cosmetic. I want to mention this here because I saw no one talking about this guy as he didn't return last year. For Halloween. And this is Dante. Did you guys know Dante has not been seen in the shop for over a year? In this case, over 475 days ago. Like, why did he not come back? They re-released the rest of his set with Rosa and the glider and his and his uh, pickaxe. But they didn't re-release this skin. And I have no idea why they chose to hold him off. Maybe it was because this skin doesn't sell well. But honestly, I think this he has one of the best sets in the game. It's just really disappointing. And honestly, I feel like they're probably going to give him an edit style this year. As I do firmly believe he's definitely coming back this year. There's no way that they're going to hold off on him. I'm just saying. But let's move on from there before I start getting a little heated as it's kind of disappointing that he didn't come back and we're going to move on from there to Starflare. Probably one of the worst reskins inside of Fortnite. This skin has not been seen in over 290 days. So it's about to hit 300 days and I can understand why this is not a good skin especially when you're comparing it to Astra who honestly I think is a fantastic skin and then you make a worse version of her which this skin could have easily have been an edit style for. It's not this is not a good skin. <laughs> the only thing I actually like about her is her back bling. Other than that this is not a good skin and this again could have easily have been an edit style and it's kind of justifiable for why it hasn't been seen in this long and honestly I think it's the number is probably going to keep going up. Uh, now, I actually wanted to mention an emote here. It's only been over 200 days since this emote was last seen, but it's Primo Moves. As this emote doesn't come back that often, but it does come back from time to time. And this is one of those emotes that I feel like is an underrated emote. But I don't know why it hasn't been out in over 200 days. It's strange to me. But I think we're going to end the video with one more. And this is actually the fourth down set. This is the NFL collaboration that we first got. This is the first one that we ever had from the NFL. Obviously we have the newer ones. Now why am I, now you might, you might be wondering, why am I mentioning this here? Because these guys are pretty much never coming back at this point. Cause we just recently had the Super Bowl and they did not come back. As yeah, it's been over two years since these skins were last seen. And I would honestly say that these skins are probably never going to be coming back to the item shop, which is a huge shame. But I can understand why, because the newer ones have more edit styles and just more options in general. But again, I would like to see these guys return, but I don't know if they will ever return, which kind of sucks. But hey, I would honestly consider these skins rare now because people are saying that they were starting to get rare. But honestly, I'm saying this right here. I think they're rare now, but... I think that's it for the video. I want to let I wanted this video for fun and honestly I had a pretty fun time making this video. Wanted to talk about cosmetics that people probably didn't know that were getting rare and some of which are just under the radar from people. And I actually had a pretty fun time making this video and shout out to Ashdiff for the video idea itself for him making these videos. And yeah, I think yeah, go, go check him out. He makes really nice content. But I actually wanted to ask you all in the comment section of this video, do you want me to make a part two? And also, are you waiting for any rare cosmetics to come back to the item shop? Again, they have to be item shop cosmetics, not anything else. So item shop cosmetics only that can come back to the item shop. I would love to know in the comment section of this video. But anyways, thank you all for watching this video. And if you did happen to enjoy it, would greatly appreciate it if you do subscribe to the channel and turn notification bells to be noticed any more videos from me. And obviously, don't forget to drop a like in the video only if you enjoyed the video. My voice is numb. <laughs> uh, I had to talk a lot there, but honestly, totally worth it because I actually had fun making this video. I guess I'll leave it off there. So thank you all for watching and peace out, everyone. You're never gonna wanna